Hey Patty, it's Scott. We spoke earlier and I wanted to shoot over this quick video showing some tips and tricks that you guys can do in-house to help, help grow your business using a website and Google business profiles. I would appreciate to hear your feedback from you about the video and I hope that these strategies are educational and helpful for you as well. So you guys don't have a website that I could find, but I did find your Facebook page. So this is kind of a miniature uh, demo for you. But the biggest thing is to have a website. And once you have a website, the bit, the next thing is to make sure it's optimized. You wanna have 1500 to 2000 words on your homepage because Google loves to see content. And throughout that content, you wanna be found for buyer intent keywords that would be found in Google searches. And usually it has a, you know, like roofing, Las Cruces, for example, that would be a good buyer intent keyword because it has a service and also a location. And then also if you, any videos, pictures, images, things like that, and if you save the alternate text correctly, you could save it as a buyer intent keyword and that counts as content because it is embedded behind the photo for you. So if we do look up, you know, Las Cruces Roofer right here, um, you get your Google guaranteed services right up top and then your local ads. And then those are great ways to generate business quickly if that's something you guys are looking for. But being in the Google business profile is really where you want to be. This just generates a lot of pro uh, traffic to your website. And also, you know, you get a lot of calls from it too. Um, and it's okay that you guys aren't here. There's plenty of ways to get there. You could start by constantly be adding reviews. You can make sure that your business name, address, and phone number are the exact same all across the internet so you don't mislead Google. And then posting branded, geotagged, and geolocated photos weekly is really beneficial because it shows Google that you guys are growing your business organically. And then adding citations, which is your business name, address, and phone number into things like Yellow Pages and Yelp is beneficial because Google's like a big popularity contest. And by giving out your information to as many people as possible, Google will start to trust you. And that'll boost your business, not just in your local area, but in your surrounding areas as well. And then being in the Google business profile will generate about 30 to 40% of your online traffic because they could just click on the website button or right here. And then this is the uh, organic se section right here. And if you're not on the first page of Google, you miss out on a lot of the traffic that could be going to your website. So looking at best roof art right here is your one, number one competitor for that buyer intent keyword. We go to their website, it looks a little outdated but i mean it's all right so they don't have too much content on here which just means that if you have more content and better buyer intent keywords you could start to outrank those guys and so i did put their website into a tool i use called Arifs. this will give me your, their analytics and kind of show me where they're setting just to kind of show you what you would have to do to beat them the dr and ur is the strength and trust that google has for your website this is on a scale of 100 and you want these continuously moving up and at a one to one ratio or really close. They're currently at a three and a seven and that's due to their backlinks and referring domains. And if you don't know what a backlink is, it's when one website links to another website via clickable button or text, but not all backlinks are created equal. So you wanna make sure that you're uh, staying relevant to your industry and also your location. And then it looks like uh, they're indexed for 74 keywords and they're getting 100 people to their website each and every month which is okay but implementing these strategies would I mean, and i'm showing you just as an example for your website but implementing these strategies would would up both the dr ur and also the traffic and so when you have better buyer intent keywords better content the authoritative backlinks and citations um, you're going to start to outrank these guys and just to give you a glimpse of what you're looking at for roofing in Las Cruces, there's 250 searches each and every month. For Las Cruces roofing, there's 250. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, buyer intent keywords going on just for roofing in Las Cruces. And if you have these on your website and ranking for them, a percentage of this total volume will start going to your website. And then a percentage of the people going to your website will give you a call and depending on your closing rate, will turn into a customer for you. So I really hope that this video was beneficial for you. I again would appreciate to hear your feedback. Thank you so much for your time and I have a good one.